Hello everyone, welcome to this learning stream where we're gonna learn how to use Unreal Engine to produce architectural visualization such as renders, animations, uh, real-time presentations uh, like virtual reality. My name is Sharif Abdesalam. I'm a 3D artist with over 10 years of experience. I've been using 3D Max with V-Ray, Corona to produce realistic architectural visualization images uh, daytime, night, exterior, interiors, lots of them. I started learning Unreal Engine five years ago in its earliest fourth uh, versions. Today, Unreal Engine have become one of the strongest tools that is being used in most of the industries around the world, such as manufacturing, medical, movie industry, and of course, architectural visualization. In this course, we will learn how to produce this modern villa where I'm going to provide you with a file to download and have this exercise with me to apply each step I'm going to reach finally to something like this where we're going to have our final look of the modern fi villa file with materials, lightings and try start to apply the different type of presentation for uh, different purposes. A lot of content we're gonna discuss that's gonna include how to export the model from 3D Max or from any other 3D application to Unreal Engine using Datasmith. We're gonna go in details more about this later on. For now, let's start to have a little bit of uh, history introduction about Unreal Engine. Basically, if you are a beginner and you're going to start learning Unreal Engine, this course will help you a lot in understanding what is Unreal Engine and how you can use it in your production process. If you have experience with the Unreal Engine, you are welcome to watch and learn and also to provide us with your feedbacks and of course I'm sure you have a lots of different ways to produce the same thing I'm doing but with different methods so I'll be happy if you share your ideas also in the comments so let's start by heading up to unrealengine.com where you're gonna log in or sign up with your Gmail account or any email you prefer to download your Epic Launcher ga Epic Games Launcher and install it in your system. Once you install the Epic Game Launcher, it's a straightforward process, nothing complicated about it. You're just gonna head to the library and hit on this plus sign to add the Unreal Engine versions. Currently there's a lot of uh, versions of uh, the Unreal uh, Engine, but uh, for now, we're gonna start with this version where it says 4.24.3. Obviously, 4.25 is still in its preview edition, so we're gonna use the 4.24.3. The installation will take a little bit of time because it's gonna be like uh, depending on your internet speed, of course. It's a 9 GB and it's going to be installed uh, for about 24 GB or something on your system. So once you install the engine, we're going to start by going through the Unreal Engine interface and learn a, bit, a little bit about the interface and what exactly do we have to learn about it as a 3D artist and the art viz industry. So I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, introduction and then in the next video we're going to start immediately from 3D Max to export our model and the best way uh, that we can perform uh, the export method. Once you have Unreal Engine on your system 
before we start the the engine from scratch let's have a little bit of chat about the interface basically basically as you can see on the left side we have the modes panel and this includes all the elements that you can add to your scene uh, from Unreal Engine a recently placed something that you have used recently basics is gonna be the basic shapes like cubes sphere and planes and sometimes you definitely can use one of these elements in your scene as we're gonna see later on for the light uh, section different types of lights of course as any other 3d platform we're gonna go in details on each one of them and see how we can use them in our scene like for this for example in our scene we are using uh, sorry about that we are using an HDRI light I get out a little bit from the camera we are using a, a high dynamic range image HDRI to light up the scene and of course uh, a directional light sunlight to give us the feeling of the sun uh, light hitting the building with the shadows we'll also try to uh, develop a night scene or we can see also how we can use uh, the spotlights and the point lights in our example it's gonna be this side only as an exterior part just as a startup uh, learning process to get you started later on we're gonna do a lots of other projects where we're gonna learn how to use uh, to produce interiors and uh, lots of different stuff uh, the cinematic part where we can use the cameras of course we're gonna go through all of this uh, the volumes for examples on this side also uh, before we go to the panels tools uh, Unreal Engine have provided uh, its users with a painting um, process to produce uh, environments like mountains landscapes and also the foliage uh, paint tool system here is very cool different stuff that we go in, we're gonna go in details later on for the tool panel here as you can see there's gonna be some some of them that we're gonna have to go uh, and discuss some of them as one of them is, is the most important one is the build uh, process it's similar to what we have in 3d max as renders but in this uh, engine the build represent a real-time presentation of the project so basically you have a rendered scene but in real-time uh, process where we can have images and animations immediately from this one it's gonna it doesn't take actually uh, much of time basically just a few minutes to extract images or uh, animations the right side uh, contain the out uh, worldlet outliner it uh, represent your scene content so as you can see I have a lots of elements here once we start our course it's gonna be empty and we're gonna start adding our uh, content inside it below that is the details for each item you choose uh, representing the 3d model the materials and uh, the object options in terms of unreal engine uh, properties the world settings represent the settings that we're going to use to produce the build quality also in details later on and here is the content browser and this is actually important where you have all your elements that you're importing inside unreal engine it will represent your imported objects that you are bringing from uh, your 3D uh, modeling softwares and also the add-ons that you are uh, adding to your uh, Unreal Engine scenes where you can use materials from different sources like Megascan and Substance Designer. So uh, in the next video we're going to start our learning course and hopefully this course will cover most of the elements that you're gonna need to produce your uh, architecture visualization real-time presentation uh, we're also gonna learn uh, something about the variant manager 
where if your project contain some of the options uh, that you would like to show to your clients such like I'm doing right now just changing this canopy of designs this can be applied in a bigger scale of course but this is just a demonstration and we're gonna learn how to do that also in our learning course so uh, I hope you will get interested in continuing this course and of course any questions or remarks you would like to add you are always welcome to add it in the comments below and I will always do my best to answer them that's it so um, let's get starting in the next video thank you everyone